Hey there, an absolute pleasure to have you here and welcome to a new mini Let's Play series. This is the vanilla green suburb city that I submitted to PDXCon 2021 for their Green City Skylines Global Build-Off event. The stipulations for the build had to be with no Steam Workshop mods or assets, but DLCs and content creator packs are allowed. Take note that this build was before the release of trains, bridges, and piers. I chose to go through a progressive approach with limited money so essentially the city was completed with absolutely no mods. However, throughout the playthrough you will notice things like top view fog while these cinematics are with mods which removes the fog for better visual clarity. Unfortunately, I was not among the chosen three winners for the global build-off. Nonetheless, this opened an unexpected opportunity to start a new Let's Play series. So the true winners are you, the viewers, who I get to share how I built my city. This is Captain Obvious and welcome to Season 3, Green Suburbs on How to Start Your City, Episode 1. So we're going to kick things off by placing that standard road and now I'm going to build it as close as possible to the border. And then my intention is so that I could delete this road and we are going to connect them together but we are going to be using a curved road instead of the inviting straight road which uh, our theme for this city build will be organic roads. And why we are going to use less of this one is a little off but not terrible it will work but probably adjust it in the future Delete like that and let's connect this I am currently using shortcuts so you will notice me that I am NOT clicking on the bottom um, at some point in the future, I should definitely provide a guide on how I make my shortcuts. And now, since this was an extremely expensive project, we will divert the use to gravel road instead to help us reduce our expenses. And for this, to make a road, you need, again, large, large curves. So I am going to do this make her about the same on that side we don't want to be going too far because again this is an extremely expensive project by using that medium road in the beginning of the of the build and we have 52k left and a coal power plant already costs 20 grand and we don't even have pipes yet so we need to be extremely careful on how we decide to use our remaining funds so you may notice me kind of pausing a little bit before I drop down that is because I am looking at the road before to make sure that it is going in a smooth direction so don't mind if I kind of pause because I want the best uh, road network as much as possible without having to redo things 48 grand left we don't even have pipes we also don't have water features or water structures, so we need to start being careful. We might even go for, um, we will most likely go for wind turbine. This looks a little different, but we have to follow that curve regardless of what it looks like. You have to maintain that theme there so this will go straight as straight as possible and here there again i am looking at the curve okay bring you together since it's going in that direction we want to maintain that now i'm using uh, no snapping to grid and curve this a little there uh, let's curve it out slightly 
this so this is an awkward situation let's see how can we use this i think i could make it there at least and we'll probably keep that all right so let's continue with our power we cannot use this 19 grand that will be cutting off half of everything and we don't we don't even have pipes so we are going to go for wind turbine and this is where the most power uh, eventually we will upgrade and our water i guess we'll go for this one why not i usually go for water towers but in this case this might be the right choice and we also need this we'll go for inland try not to pollute the water there it is and of course our pipes how much money do we have we have 30 grand and soon we're gonna check our road layout if it looks good um gonna make efficient use of piping because this is the beginning of the game and connect that the one thing that we are lacking is our industry road network so let's con let's make that right away here oops turn on snapping that way uh let's straight here and you and go a little curve and we can create that curve is a little too much i want it less there okay let's check our road yeah that's not bad see how the curve is really so this is slightly bad this is what i mean about trying to make it as wide as possible so this is why this is a little wrong i could probably make it go that way which makes sense let's see how much money do we have yes we can we can still do it all right it's not too late which would actually make it look better there and curve a little out there a little better than before because there's now more space now let's connect everything together make sure that everything is powered up we may need two so i am going to place in another wind turbine and that of course is not connected let's extend this a little further 10k in the in the bank i'm always keeping my eye out on that water in uh sewage power water now before we start let's remove all our budget bring this down slightly and oh we don't have power or actually our first building our first residents are not established so i will place just one and then I will put our power. Uh, yeah, okay. I was thinking to break through there, but I don't want to. I need to build here. And times three speed. That's our first home. And we could actually just paint this whole thing in. Uh, some of this, a lot of people would want to avoid uh, zoning into that. But since this is the beginning of the city, every unit counts because you want that population. It is only after you hit a certain point where you have enough funds and you can afford to kind of micro zone things. But for now, we need every unit available. And here I will just zone on one side. And that should be good. This side I will plant trees. And of course our industry, let's bring this here. I am terribly sorry about this one tree. He will soon die and there's nothing we can do about it. We are still at times three speed. 
everything is looking good. That's a pretty decent layout for the beginning. And again, we are not putting in an interchange here because I do not intend to occupy more than two tiles. We will just build towards this area because uh, this city will not grow as large. Uh, the minimum number of, of population for this competition is just 1,000 and I just want to meet that requirement. Focus on what is needed because if you focus too much on the other tiles, which is absolutely futile, then you may not achieve your goal, which is the actual suburb. Still at times three, it's still moving quite smoothly. Do we need to zone anymore? Yes, uh, shortcut again, paint. All right, looking good, looking good so far. We may need more roads and we're actually in the positive. Pick that up slightly. All right, so now we can extend this side because we need more residential. So again, I'm gonna be using the curved road. Go as wide as possible. I hope I'm not spending too much. That's too grand. Okay, let's chop it down a little bit. Uh, let's zoom out just to make sure that it looks right. Okay, that looks about decent. Um, I would like to connect from here. Uh, let's turn off the snapping. Probably should have turned off the snapping from this point. I want curve, so here. Turn on snapping a little. That's not a nice curve. Come on, give me something. Right, that should suffice. Three grand, still in the positive. That's what you want in the beginning. And this, again, we'll go for a large curve. There, this, oh, actually we'll chop it down. This is, these are the main roads right here. And we are now Little Hamlet. So at Little Hamlet, the first thing you wanna put down is your garbage facilities. But for now, I am just gonna continue our road layout. Make sure we are at times three speed because we wanna, we wanna finish this as soon as possible while still maintaining the commentary and instruction, oops, let's see, we can afford this now. I will place her right there, 19 grand. Yeah, that's a lot, that's a lot. That means we need to drop this down, which is also a good reminder because we can increase our tax at 12%, which is the maximum tax that they will tolerate any higher and they would start complaining. Apparently, we the budget for power is too low. There. That should suffice. Let's double check. Yes, that is more than enough. And let's continue our road layout. Again, we are looking at that curve. Trying to keep it consistent as much as possible. And let's see. Where can I chop this? Uh, let's try to keep it a little parallel to that. Okay, looking decent. Here. Actually, I think I'll leave this as is because I'm pretty sure that this starts to curve downwards. As you can see, the terrain. So it will start doing this. Notice the buildings and notice how I have a large gap here. That is to provide space for me to terraform slightly. So this here is an issue. So I may have to dezone some things. So for instance, this guy, but this is a little too soon to do. So we're kind of going backwards. So we're gonna do that a little later, but at least you understand uh, what I mean. 
we'll zone a little more residential before we get back into the proper needs, which is providing more jobs and shopping for our people. So you always want to go in order, which is left to right. That is commercial, no, residential, commercial, then industry. Unless you have an overwhelming demand for one, then that is the, the zone that you should prioritize. But in this case, they are relatively equal. Therefore, oh no, we don't have enough. I completely forgot to place in our garbage. So I will place our garbage facility on this side. This is, oh, that is, that looks terrible. But it is the right curve. However, it is going into the dirt. So I could actually just, we'll use the freeform road tool this time. We are still on times one speed or times three, which is not advisable. How much is this? This is 16 grand. I will not use that. That is a little too expensive. And this does not require power. We will, of course, replace that in the future. So far, this will have to do. Okay, more commercial or industry is our demand. And fill that in. No need to overthink things. Just zone and look at our road network. Looking so good so far. We could further add uh, more dividers here. Just to kind of narrow the gap a little bit. Okay, looking good so far. Here we have to be careful. Oops, that was an upgrade. So we are at 40 grand in the bank. This is beginning to dip down. Let's see, what is our demands? Let's go back to times three. I always want to keep moving forward. All right, let's try to occupy this. Uh, hmm, let's see. We need to continue this. Uh, yeah, this needs to curve about there and you can go here this so this is a common problem where you have this corner but just follow the the angle of your curves and it should look all right that does not look right. Turn off snapping. Okay, uh, go back to zoning, paint, paint in. So you save a lot of time using shortcuts. Well, I probably could just say what my shortcuts are. So F1 is straight roads or actually f1 is set to whatever is here so if i go to road these are settings so this is f1 f2 f3 f4 so it's quite easy for me to remember what to do and of course the zoning is somewhere between four four six and seven uh what am i doing i am lost oh yes we need more power okay there we are and water Nope, that's probably a pipe thing, yes. Okay, straight road, uh, 47 grand. That is actually quite good. That was, we, we hit the second milestone, right? I think the police is now available. I'm gonna have to check. Let's see. Oh yes, it is available, all right. So as soon as possible, try to plop this down and I'm actually gonna use it here. Since I intended to put trees here anyway. So that is our police and this is our fire department. Um, I like to place it down as soon as possible because it it really is really disappointing when uh, you need it 
but don't have it because you overspent building things. So it's a lot better to plop it down as soon as possible. Okay, this I would really want to add more roads, but again, I am not sure until we have this open. Times three speed, our demands is quite diminished, but overall, uh, our layout is looking good. Except this bothers me slightly, but it is not terrible by any means. Okay, we are just waiting, waiting for the next demand. 25k, uh, let's anticipate the next issues. So our water is good, our power is good. Actually, there isn't anything. We just need more population. Okay, so that's what we need. And let's continue this. Going out in that direction. This can go here. And we need another one that kind of connects there together. I will use this. And Mac there. How much money do we have? 28 grand. Always watch out for that. You never want to overspend. I am, uh, yeah, again, you, you notice me pausing, right? And we are now a tiny town, but this, what do we have available? We have parks. And we have industry. This is the one that we need. We need to start replacing our dirty industry with farming. So you notice me pausing because again, I'm looking at that curve. And I'm trying to anticipate the next motion. Huh. Yeah, that's a little too wide. So here and then curve. A little closer. There. There you go much more acceptable if i made it too wide then it would not have the shape that i am looking for again same thing here wait let's check the overall there it is so it's a very very wide curve bit like that and we need another divider right in the middle let's turn off snapping for a while Uh, I would like to make it about halfway and there okay. no I will wait for that one this one is extremely wavy so we need to stop that I, I don't want to make it go that way instead you're actually going to cut it off here and this will not connect and this will be a new one or actually I could just end it there we will create one here so this is going to be a new curve that node is annoying there connect these guys oops hmm that doesn't look well for me so I'm actually gonna keep that open why are we on times one speed water oops sorry let's make sure everyone has running water in their homes i would also be upset if that ever happened actually it has but that's a different story going there let's see how much do we have in the bank 50k i think we should start our farming There's our layout so far. This looks a little funky. Yeah, I am not too pleased with this. I feel like it should have curved a little more. And... Uh, oops. Yeah. Oops, come on. that's acceptable let's look at our top view not too bad this thing needs work let's see what happens when we zone in 
All right, that will take a while for everyone. There, there it is. This is what I was worried about. Yeah, I am not sure where I should be zoning. And if I created a road here, it would cause some issues. It doesn't look too great from the top view. We, we do need some dividers around here. And this again. But right now, we are just going to ignore it. Uh, let's start our industry. So we want to replace all of this. Let's zone our farming. Um, I am probably the worst when it comes to zoning districts in among all City Skylines players. I just paint like a child because I see that it will grow eventually in the future or get smaller and having to micromanage that is something I will do in the end. Yeah, look at that big smack. Uh, Hawthorne complex. Nope. If I plop this down, would it change? Put it here. Hawthorne farmland. It changed. Okay, so we will put in the animal pastures as our first building. I will place it right across there. So slowly I'm going to replace everything here. Uh, more commercial. Yes, yes. You want to go shopping. I understand. Let's give you all that shopping. There. I hope that pacifies your need. Uh, this needs a road in between. Let's see if we could connect this together. Actually, it does not, it's not absolutely necessary for them to connect. Yeah, let's keep that as is. And we need more power. So you never want to go over 100% because you will, you will slowly lose money. Or at least, I assume, not completely sure. But I just keep it as a rule not to go over 100%. And more residential. I'm going to start zoning at the bottom just to see our plopping of buildings or I mean the uh, construction of the buildings. So as you can see here, that's going to be problematic as it starts to grow. It is fortunate that we have this much space. So this I could delete. And let's dezone that, please. There. So we have the least amount of cracking on the edges of the buildings, which is what I am looking forward to. This will just maximize that. There you go. Looking good, looking good. This we may have to dezone in the bottom, but actually it's not bad. This might have to. One of them has to go. Okay, let's add more industry. Um, let's see. So I'm prioritizing the processing buildings because they make the most money. I'll put it here. Kind of want to scatter that about. Okay, uh, this, I will have to use some straight roads, especially within the uh, fertile land. Go straight, please. Yes, and this can curve into that. The reason why you want that straight uh, road is so that you can properly plop these guys down. So I will put you here. One, two, three, and four. Let's change this guy into a greenhouse. And we could place uh, one of those processing buildings here when it becomes available. 
they slowly and surely we want to dezone those guys and we are now a boom town i think this is our third tile that we are able to unlock keep that times three speed and we're going to continue zoning so far our layout is actually quite good Yep, that is acceptable. See, see how this thing, as I mentioned, it it's kind of curving too much. So you want like a large curve. So that's why I needed to stop it there. This one's a little too much. So these are the type that you want. But in the same time, you don't want them all going in the same direction. So I, I suppose this is acceptable. More industry. Okay. With 80k in the bank. Nice. What do we have available? Not yet. We do not have that. Uh, let's see. Let's add another processing building right here. Nope. Actually, I want it on this side. There you go. And more roads. Or actually, let's add going towards the other side. One, two, three. Let's see, cotton. Actually, weed is nice because uh, it stands out. Let's make this as corn. Going straight down. Let's see, what else can we build? This direction, so it's opposite this time. Okay, looking good. Yep, looking good so far. We have trees to plant. Um, let's try to occupy this. Yeah, let's fill in all the areas that we created. And let's not venture any further. Here, I guess that's enough. Yes, that is more than enough to here. On this side, however, all our commercial will end there. And we're going to start putting in some residential on this side. This was probably a mistake. But yeah, we definitely need some residential on this side. You, as much as possible, want to have your commercial to be surrounded by residential. So these guys here are in danger of having not enough customers. But having these multiple roads might, or these intersections, may help reduce that possibility. Okay, they are really wanting more jobs. Okay, all right. Uh, that's good for us. This is beginning to be a little too redundant. Not a big fan of it level two and we have the flour mill and bakery available i will plop down that bakery asap because we want that money is that and of course you need the flour mill to actually make this function i will put you here we need at least one And we have death care available as well. I can put this in the corner. I could put it here, but this looks like it put something more prominent there. Let's actually place it here. Yeah, why not? This entire corner will be like a park. We also have elder care available, which is good to prolong the lifespan of our citizens. Uh, I can place it right here. Yeah, it will demolish some of these or actually here, but you know, you kind of want to keep it in the middle So this is like the ideal spot. So I'm kind of forced to place it here Okay, and of course that comes with the child health care building and More residential wants to move in. Do we have enough power? No. Okay, how much money do we have? 
We need another coal power plant. Fortunately, we are already earning close to 3,000 a week. I guess we have to... No, we can survive. We can reach 19 grand. Yeah. And 19 grand. Plop this down immediately. Bam. And I could start deleting these guys. Connect you. How's our water? Water's a little low. That might have been a mistake. I probably deleted that a little too soon. Add another water pump. And we need another sewage area. Grab you. We will need to start transferring. So I'm going to place this here. bring that into the network okay looking good so far and more residential demand I will actually just paint down here we're not gonna go too much and I suppose I can just fill this in And some uh, residential here. It's actually safe to put residential there as well, but I'm not going to. Okay, looking good. More industry demand. If I start dezoning this, they will definitely want to have more um, industry. But at some point, we really do need to remove that. Okay, let's go back to the curve uh, road tool. Um, this looks a little awkward, so instead I'm going to go the other direction. Which looks a little more natural. And you. There. This. Uh, actually, I'll just ignore that. Or I can just go straight, yeah. Straight would not be bad. We have ample space for other things. 42 grand. What can we place down here? Another flour mill. We justified adding some cattle sheds. What else is available? We also have... Uh, workers' barracks. This should do well here yes we have some space available here hmm what can we put well we actually ran out of money all right let's plant some trees i am a big fan of conifer trees i should actually make um, pathways here, which is I ideal. But you know what? Actually, I should probably use this alder trees, simply because we have alder trees here. But these it matches, or at least on this block, we'll use alder trees. But planting these trees will help reduce the amount of noise pollution that will emanate to the other side. Shall we maintain alder trees? Uh, I guess so. Why not? We'll keep the interior alder. Let's actually put some uh, dirt paths. Let's see. Uh, it almost doesn't make sense to put any. I don't see a reason why we should. But let's try it out. Turn off snapping. Okay. 
and she won't connect. Now that we've made so much, we really have to commit. Yeah, we have to commit to that. We can always change the color or the type of path just by upgrading it. Uh, that's the same one. Wow, they are a big fan of this. I could see people walking on them. All right, let's add our tree. So we are using alder trees. Yeah. So we're just gonna fill this in. Like completely dense trees. At some point we're gonna be adding some fences just to add some more details into this. And whoa, we do not have enough sewage apparently. What happened? Isn't that connected? Oh, it's not. I completely forgot. There. Hey, okay. good thing we zoomed out. Otherwise, it would have been a disaster. In the beginning 76k everybody's happy uh, let's observe yeah it looks pretty good uh, we, we will of course add more pathing or walking path in between these but for now that is not our focus we generally just want population and economy we do have some power issues. Okay, let's add another full power plant. Hmm, where can we put? Uh, yeah, we'll just put them all together here until we have this available, which is at 4k pops, which isn't too far away. Um, let's see now. Let's continue this. Add some more commercial. We're quite fortunate that nobody is complaining so far. Okay, and we will continue with our paths. There. Uh, this has space for a building, so I am not going to build anything there. And of course, our alder trees. So in, in this playthrough, um, yeah, I am focusing on alder trees, but I commonly use conifer trees, which is my preferred type. I could mix this up, but I have a theme, which is light color in the middle and then dark colors on the outer edges. It's extremely dense. I will also plant on this side because I know that there's gonna be a lot of noise pollution coming from the commercial area. So you don't necessarily have to zone on both sides of the street. Breaking things will actually make things a little different. And let's go ahead and turn off the traffic lights. I mean, it's not terrible to keep it, but might as well. I believe that's the last one. Oh, there's one more. And there we are so far. So far, so good. Uh, we have demand for everything and we are over 100K uh, income with five to six k weekly income and that is our episode for today uh, this is captain obvious uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you again in the next episode